Really shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'asham, Rachakwadash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well unto the elect, Shalawam, um, uh, Barakata, Barakatam to you, whoever you are out there. This is our one coming back from the Great Millstone camp in transit, doing another lesson. Alright, doing another lesson in transit. Alright, through the Holy Spirit, I have a Basham Yahushai, um, Basham Rakakodash. Go and touch on um, reincarnation and the, um, the biblical, is a, is a, is a, it, is, it is in fact a biblical fact. Reincarnation is a biblical fact. It is it's not fiction, it's fact. And um, uh, you uh, who out there who don't really believe in reincarnation, you should look up the scriptures because reincarnation is factual. Alright? You should uh, really re examine what you we, we believe in because reincarnation is factual. So this uh, John chapter 9, verse 1. And it says, And as Yahweh Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. So now, as I was breaking down to a fellow on a job earlier, when I'm a customer, uh, he said, because I get interested in learning, so I was explaining it, explaining it to him that this individual man here was blind from the time he born. Meaning, as he came out uh, his mother's womb, he came out from uh, being inside his mother's womb while he was crying he could not see he, he, he didn't have time to echo anything of sin any act of sin in, in, uh, in this in this uh, in the earth as yet he didn't have no time to act any form of sin he now born fresh out the oven <laughs> But he was born without vision. He could not see. Literally, he was blind. All right, his eyes was dim from day one. From from the first second he came out of the womb, to get that in all your head, to paint that picture in all your head. So he says, "Yeah, what I ask him." And his disciples, which is who well, they call Jesus' his disciples, which his real name is Yahawashai in the Hebrew. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind? Now, I'll read it over again. They say, Master, who did sin? This man. How could somebody who just came out of their mother's womb sin? What sin did he do and he now born? He now born. Fine. You can't argue that. So it would have to lead to the conclusion that in a former life he sinned. That's why you go ahead and lead it. Go ahead and point to that. That's so, if he could, if he now born and he blind and and they understood back then that the, the fact that you're bo being born either as a palsy or blind or lame or maimed, all right, is because for something it did. Because the Most High don't leave nobody unpunished. Everybody had to get a punishment. So, so to ask the Lord, you have a shine out. Which one of them do the sin? Who did the wrong? This man right here or his parents did the wrong? That he was born as a blind man. But a little baby cannot do no sin. Because he born so. He come out the womb so. 
blind from his birth, from day one he was so. So it would have to conclude that the, the man sinned, but not in this life, but in a previous life. And that is why that is where this scripture would make sense. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9. Alright, that is where this scripture would make sense. When it says, the thing that had been, had been in, has, which is like past tense, that is past tense, the thing that was. You could say that, the thing that was. It says, it is that which shall be. So, the thing that was, like, that man who we now read about, he was at some point in time. Was he in the same um, body? No, he wasn't in the same body that he was in back then. But the spirit, his eternal spirit, came back in new flesh as a little newborn, but all live until Yahweh by Hashem was shy, so nobody dies to the Lord. They does die to me, uh, my father, my old man, he will die to me. But to Yahweh by Hashem was shy, he is alive and well. Moses called the most, um, the most high, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. But them men and them was dead. The, the, the death to Moses in Moses' time, them men not die and gone. So we could still be calling them now. Because to the most high, they live it. Everybody lives to Yahweh Bashami Shai. Nobody dies. But on this physical earth, they die. So when you die on this physical earth and your spirit goes back up to the living power who gave the spirit, the thing that had been, which was you, is that which shall be, meaning you will come back. That is why the man, the man came back. And when he come back, for whatever he did in his past life, he was pain. He, he, um, they, they thought he was pain fate. But then you have a shy broke down to them. Neither did this man sin nor his parents, but that the works of the most High might be made manifest in him. In so many words. I may not be quoting it verbatim, verbatim, but in so many words, that is why you have a shy broke down. You see? So it says, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun so that which is done is that which shall be done and there is nothing new under the sun and we are all under the sun I am under the sun, under the sun is the earth <laughs> under the sun is the earth so you are seeing cars today motor cars they were not called motor cars maybe they didn't have motor cars in the time of Abraham but it had means of transportation to get from point A to point B. Alright? It might not know uh, machinery, like how Israel machinery to do work, but it had means that people used to get things done. Which it might just be modernizing these times. That, that is all. But everything, like man, man was whoever it is feel there was never every man was on the earth every body who on the earth right now was here from the from day one it's just that you die your spirit goes back to the most high and come back in a different body that not so hard to understand but if it ain't given unto you you will never understand it you see you will never understand all you go understand is that uh you, 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 could, you could get a wife someday and marry and build a start a family that is all you will understand that is all that is as far as your mind would go if the most high want your mind to reach you and then if the most high want your mind to reach 
on the level of understanding the, the topic of reincarnation, the fact of reincarnation, which is biblical, your mind will reach there. You will just remove the uh, the block, the block that blocking your mind from reaching. It says, is there anything verse ten? Is there anything whereof it may be said? See, this is new. Is there anything on the earth where people could say, see, this is new? You have nothing. There is nothing. Not even a newborn. He ain't new. Because the spirit inside of that newborn was here already. It says, it had been already of old time, which was before us. It says there is no remembrance of former things. So now we ain't gonna have nothing that you will remember. When you, when you come back as a newborn, you you live your whole life. You will remember nothing that you did in your past life. You won't remember anything. You will just be living. But you know who remember? Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai remembers. He knows. Because he is the one who created the ass. He says there is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come. Uh, Matthew Not Matthew, no? Yeah, it's Acts. Acts chapter 15 was 18 and it says known unto the most high are all his works from the beginning of the world known unto the most high are all his works from the beginning of the world so we wouldn't know what the most high know you don't think like him but he know all things all he works where he put on every work where he put on all spirits where he create he know all of that from day one that he, he miss all right and, and um, don't feel that the most high just up there in heaven when one body dies he just up there in heaven whipping up an next uh, an expert because all we are is just spirits and bodies that is all we is we are just spirits inside our body. That's why the Most High say He um, spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell. Put them in this in this sinful flesh. All right, put his, put his men as he like in this sinful flesh. He cast it, cast you down to hell. So, because up there in the spiritual realm they were spirits, and then he put them in this flesh. We're going to go and die. We're going to go and fall like men. Like one of the princes. Because the scriptures say, Ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. Ye are judges. We're supposed to be ruling. But we, they, we in sinful flesh. And we will die just like a man does die. Cast me down to hell. That is what it means. That is what it means, he cast them down to hell, meaning he give them over that they could die. Because in, in the other flesh, in the other um, former, in the other body, they can't die. Right? When they spirits, they can go and die. So all we are is just spirits and bodies. Really and truly. Now when our spirit leaves this body, it goes back to the most high you gave it. And then it comes back. When the most high ready for you to come and he give the order when it comes back every two and four generations. But I'm gonna get our scripture here. This is um Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7 and it says then shall the dust return to the earth as it was and, 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 and what is the dust? We are the dust. When we die, that's what we talking about. 
ashes as did I say in the world ashes to ashes dust to dust and the Lord God from a man from the dust of the ground we are the dust we go and return to the to the earth when we die the bury we we body disintegrate go back to the soil all right wherever minerals was in the body you just disintegrate and go back all right to the soil when we die so, so the dust turn into the earth as it was because that is where we come from and the spirit which the spirit what was in the in the dust molded by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that we call our house we call our body but the word body come go back to the Latin bodeg which means house all right the dust was just molded by the hands of the most high to, to give you to give the spirit a place to dwell in so when that when that spirit leave that house that body that tabernacle and goes back up to the to the most high the spirit go back up to the most high all right uh, and the spirit shall return to the most high who gave it when that spirit go back up to the most high who gave it okay This is what has gone. These are um, Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter five verse ten. It says For we must all all every last one of us appear before the judgment seat of Yahawashai. Dies up in the spiritual realm. Everybody, when you die, your spirit go back up to the Most High who gave it, and we appear before His judgment seat. That everyone may receive the things done in his body, the things done in your house when it was on the earth. All right. Whether it be uh, um, in his body according to that he had done. Whether it be good or bad, so whether you do good or bad, you appear before the Hawashai judgment seat, and the Hawashai deals with you, gets, um, gives out your judgment. And where do you play out that judgment? Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, chapter three. Verse 16. It says, And moreover, I saw under the sun, under the sun, which is the earth, as I explained earlier. He saw under the sun the place of judgment. The place of judgment is under the sun. This way it has play out your judgment. Alright? So you know what I mean? That means that the Lord sends back your spirit after you go before his judgment seat and you receive your judgment up there you play out your judgment on the earth so whether you do good it will be manifest or if you did bad as in your past life it will manifest you see the most high don't um, uh, uh, leave anybody undone everybody does get the fair share with the most high it's just that he chose israel but he doesn't judge israel in measure he judge the heathen and them with his severe anger it's a, as a fierce king but he deals with israel in, uh, uh, um, in measure he give him punishment in measure but because why is he chosen he love us he first fruits and you can go and tell you what to do you can't go before you have a shame and say, well, now you, you can't judge me harsh and judge them soft, judge everybody harsh. We fuck is you? That is where you go here. Who are thou that replies against the most high? You're going to hear that. You, 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 your hand too short to fight against him. But anyhow, it says, moreover, I saw another son, the place of judgment, the place of judgment, that wickedness was there under the sunny place of judgment yeah wickedness day 
And that is why, because the earth is given into the wicked's hand. So, you're going to see wickedness where the place are true judgment supposed to be. Is the place where judgment does be played out. And after you receive your judgment from your Havabah, Shem Yavashai, you come down on the earth and your uh, judgment be, be played out. So that means you ain't coming back on the earth as a big man. Because we saw in John 9 that it's a little child you're coming back as. But it's that same spirit that was in that particular person whenever such and such time. You see? Uh, and the place and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there alright the place of righteousness that sin was there uh, is Exodus chapter 20 It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So you come back every three and four generation, every third or fourth generation, you come back. Because why it says that, why I say that, when the scripture say, Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 16, it says, The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. So everybody who do wrong, you're getting judged for the wrong you do. But now say that visiting the, the iniquity of the fathers, the children of visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children into the third and fourth generation. But now we're saying the children ain't gonna be put to death for the fathers. Why? Because really it's you who coming back as the child. You, the same father coming back after he turned on fourth generation to receive his own punishment for what he did back then when he was at, on the earth. That is all it means. Reincarnation is biblical. It, 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 it have biblical substance. It's fact. It's not a fiction thing. Men are talking no lies over here. Scripture say you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. Men know all things as pertaining to the truth, as revealed unto us by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Beginning with the apostles are great millstone, of course. Now this is Ezekiel chapter 18. Alright, verse. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 1 it says the word of Yahweh came unto me saying again saying what mean ye this proverb what mean ye that ye use this proverb concerning the land of Israel saying the fathers have eaten sour grapes the fathers eat sour grapes alright and the children's teeth are set on edge so that is what I was saying back then I, I had to be going through all of this slavery and oppression because my father do shit but here are the most I go and break down to them as I live saith the Lord power ye shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb in Israel behold all souls are mine so every spirit every soul is the most high on he is the father of spirits As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The man who sinned, 
that going on there? Right? He had to pay for his sin. Your fuck you. So you telling them all you're not paying for all your father's sin. All you're paying for all your sin because all your all your fathers was sinning against me. That was the most I telling them. But I was saying the fathers did the fathers do wrong and we 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 had to pay for it. Musa is saying, nah, it's not that. He explained it to them here now. Was uh that's not one. Alright, I'll jump down, I'll jump down to verse uh, eleven, right? It says It says It says and do it not any of the duties but even had eaten upon the mountains and defiled his neighbor's wife had oppressed the poor and needy That's not what? had oppressed the poor and needy had spoiled by violence had not restored the pledge and had lifted up his eyes to the idols had committed abominations so you talking about if a man doing this as in verse 5 he talk about man be just I didn't read it but I'll just give a briefing on it see if a man be just and what not and righteous and thing and then he talking about if a man being wicked alright uh, had given forth upon usury and had taken increase shall he then live he shall not live. He had done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon him. Now, lo, if he beget a son that seeth all his father's sins, all right, that seeth all his father's sins. Which he had done and consider it and do it not such like that had not eaten now if he if this same man have a son and his son see all the shit that he father did and he say nah boy I, I, I not going to do that because these are different spirits were inside our body alright he say nah boy I not going to do that I know, I know for me Hear what the most I say that had not eaten upon the mountains, neither had lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, had not defiled his neighbor's wife, neither had oppressed any, had not withholding the pledge, neither had spoiled by violence, but had given his bread to the hungry, and had covered the naked with a garment that had taken off his hand. From the uh, from the poor that had not received usury nor increase, uh, that had not received usury nor increase, had executed my judgments, had walked in my statutes, he shall not die. For the iniquity of the fa of his father, he shall surely live. He shall not die for the iniquity of his father. He won't live. He had to live. Because it's not he do it, it's his father. Alright? So when the scripture says visiting the iniquity of the father upon the third and the fourth generation of them that hate me. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. The third and fourth generation of them that hate me, they were the them them children were the fathers who was doing the wickedness. He says as for his father, because he cruelly oppressed, spoiled his brother by violence, and did that which is not good among his people, 
lo, even he shall die in his iniquity. Yet say he, why doth the son bear the iniquity of the father when the son hath done that which is lawful and right and hath kept all my statutes and hath done them he shall surely live the soul that sinneth it shall die the one who sinned he had to pay for his sins I not paying for my father's sins no man is paying for his father's sins the man who sinned had to pay for his sin now let me say he lived the whole life and he never paid for his sin and he was a wicked sinner whenever he received the judgment in the spiritual realm by Ahabah Hashem Yavashai when he come back on the earth he pay for his sins that is only common sense and that, that hard to understand is not rocket science alright it's, it, 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 it's simple it says the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon he. So to our wicked, he wickedness will be upon he. Righteous, his righteousness will be upon him. There's a difference. It's not the same. Uh, you, I'm not paying for for joy. I know father and I know I will not ever pay for his sins. I will pay for my sins. I will pay for my righteousness. He pay for his righteousness or his sins. That is how it is. So that's showing you what? Reincarnation. Because if I live my whole life as a killer and I ain't pay f and, I, and I die in my riches, whenever, t whenever uh, the third and fourth generation, so I'm going to have a my son and then my son make a next son child and then a next child a next child and whenever the third and fourth generation come it's my ass who coming back to pay for my wickedness that I did in my past life that is just how it is go all right so you don't have no such thing as hell and all that that is folly hell is folly and all of that that is just folly the tom fiery pit way where i'm going forever and ever that will never happen yeah, let's just come back right here and go through hell. So you might come back for your wickedness and you come back a freaking um you come back a you, you, you know you know um, you're living on the streets or you're crippled or you're or you're always begging it's for something that you did in your past life. So that is it, you understand? So with that I want to say Yahweh Sham Yahweh Shai Ba Sham Rakakwadash Brakatam to all the elect. You know, these are my one sign and all. I will honestly the apostles are great, Mr. Stone Shallow